This is the Ford Racing one. All right, guys, you wanted uh, me to do a continuance of yesterday's test. So, Amsoil in the first lane, factory Ford Motorcraft FLA 20 in the second lane, and the third lane, uh, Ford Racing uh, Performance Parts. The reason I have this box cutter on top of here is because it's actually pulling this. I don't have enough weight. As you can see, mo all of them are right at the line. And these aren't actually stretched out all the way in this one. It's almost stretched out all the way. It's got a, a metal mesh back behind it. So what I noticed first off, it's extremely difficult to cut the AMSOIL filter out because it, they use a resin. It's like a rubberish resin, like a, it's kind of, it's a light rubber texture, but it's more hard. Um, the Ford is more of a rubbery, a little bit, it, it's, it's hard, but it's not as hard as the AMSOIL at the silicone that they use, not silicone, but the glue that they use. And then the Ford Racing one by far is the hardest out of the three. When I actually pulled these two bottoms apart, the AMS oil was kind of difficult. The factory Ford one was a little difficult to pop the bottom off of it. The Ford Racing one was, holy crap, it was hard to pull that apart. And they have even like a little metal brace thing that goes in between that ties the filter together but also at the same time it holds the top and bottom as well so you've got to break past that so i would say the strongest end holding the assembly together is the ford racing one and then amsoil comes in and then uh the factory one comes in last the longest pleat by far is the ford racing one you saw all the way down the table over here and it's not even stretched out all the way because i'm running out of room uh, the factory Ford one actually has a longer pleat length than the Amsoil one. Amsoil one seems to be the best material of the three. But honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the Ford Racing filter. There's a lot of pleats there. And it's very, very long. And it's got a very, very heavy duty end. Also at the same time, the, the additive that they use, the, the glue to keep the filter together and in the housing and then the housing together as well. Oh my God, extremely strong. It was very difficult for me to get that apart. What I like about the Ford filters versus the Amsoil filter, everybody touts the Amsoil filter is the best filter on the market, but it lacks in technology. When it comes to the bypass valve that the filter was ever to plug, it's relying on the bypass valve from the bottom of the filter. Well, when that bypass valve opens up, if it ever opens up, any of that debris that's causing it to bypass, you're not getting filtered anymore and the filter has a harder time retaining it. So what ends up happening is it bypasses and allows that debris right back into the motor and washes whatever's down there into the motor as well. On a factory Ford one, you can see where it actually travels up to the top of the bypass valve. So any of the sediment and debris stays in the bottom of the filter and as the oil travels back up to the top, it will come back up and over and into the bypass and then back up into the motor, keeping most of the debris, the contaminants down inside the filter, not bypassing from the bottom and washing everything through. The O-ring here is huge, it's phenomenal. Very, very, uh, very good design. So very, very strong and it's got a very oily texture to it. So overall, out of these three filters, my first indication yesterday was the AMSOIL has the best filtering quality. I think still long term, the AMSOIL filter long term does have a better filtering material. It's like a paper, uh, cloth, fiberglass type, all, all kind of mixture together. When it comes to overall quality and the amount of filtering, the amount of durability, Ford Racing filter, hands down, has the best filter on this table um, for overall use. Flow, uh, it filters at 99.9% .9 at 20 micron rating. Even the factory one was like a 93.7% 20 micron rating. And it's a, it's, it's a little bit more eye-opening now that you guys have asked me to actually cut the pleats apart, see what the material is actually made of. And then take a second look at it and give us a follow-up on what you actually feel. The parts are very similar. 
uses the same style top and bottom caps. It uses a very similar type of uh, glue material to hold everything together. The Ford Racing one is kind of like in a category of its own. It's way stronger. It seems like the glue is way more durable and, and it's, it's got a lot of strength to it. Uh, the bypass valve on the Ford filters is superior to the AMS oil filter. The only thing I can find that's a positive for the AMS oil is the strength of the can. The strength of the can overall is a lot stronger versus the factory filter. But the Ford filter is actually about as strong, if not stronger. Um, I like the fact that you got a place to grip here on the AMS oil one, but the Ford one you don't. That's minute. But on this takeaway, after coming back and doing this again, I would have to say Ford Racing takes the win. Overall, Ford Racing. The end cap is twice the thickness as both of them. The ports for its flow is two or three times bigger than the AMS oil one. The factory Ford one is actually bigger than the AMS oil one. AMS oil is actually going to come in third place here. Overall quality, Ford Racing. Overall reliability and just strength, I'm gonna have to give it to the factory filter. Um, it filters adequately. It has a really good high quality bypass valve just like the Ford Racing one does, the same design. The end, it flows better, or the top of it, it flows better. It's got bigger ports and stuff for oil to get in. The safety technology built into the, the OEM filter overall is better than the AMS oil one. The only thing that the Ford one lacks is the can is a little weak, which I really don't care about. It's not a race car, it's a normal, so you're gonna be fine there. Um, and that's it. Everything else is a plus. The filter quality is not as good as the AMS oil, but at the same time, you're not waiting 20,000 miles to change your oil typically. Most people are doing it between five and 10,000 miles, hopefully getting closer to that 5,000 and less. I would have to say here, after taking a second look again, that my, my results would still be the OEM filter is the best bang for your buck at four bucks. If you're gonna choose between a Ford Racing filter and an AMS oil filter, this is a $15 filter, this is an $18 filter, I would choose the Ford Racing filter over the AMS oil filter. The only benefit that this has, and the only benefit that I believe this has, is the filter strength and the amount of time that you can actually use this. Other than that, it lacks in the technology that the, the OEM stuff does, and it just doesn't seem as good. That's my thoughts. And just for a real slow look, for everybody that wanted this, 